cock a doodle do it's another morning in Kanchanaburi and we are up early once again and today's going to be a very special day very emotional day we are going to the Hellfire Pass which is about one hour and ten minutes outside of the city and yeah this place is very very special part of the death railway yeah there's a museum there there's loads of info and we're going to talk about it we're going to look at it it's going to be it's going to be a sad day i think we're going to get on the road and i'm going to see you at the first stop right dudes we are about 40 minutes outside of kanchanaburi just past the little town called Sayok and yeah there's been nothing for ages it's just been a straight road until you come across a KFC in the middle of nowhere and a 7-eleven <laughs> the bike has been running like an absolute champion the new tires make it grip so well could get a KFC breakfast but well, I might stick to me good old trusty toilet yeah, I might get something to eat actually. Let's have a look here. Wonder if she'll rustle me up an omelette, maybe. Swadi cap, sabadi mai. Right, so I was gonna get chicken and rice, but I've changed. I'm just gonna have some vegetables and rice. Gonna, gonna be careful a little bit. Ah, so I had some brekkie. A little bit of pollution in Kanchanaburi man a little bit of pollution um, yes yeah, not it's not like perfect down here right then let's get on the road 25 minutes to the Hellfire Pass made it we are at the Hellfire Pass and when you come in here guys there's a big roadblock and they will stop you and I think it was an American guy he will ask you he will tell you don't follow the GPS he will give you the real the real route in because he said the gps takes you all down around but you want to start off here at the museum and walk down so we're going to start off at the interpretive center so we're going to start off at the um, museum center and it's all free as well guys it's all free. The Hellfire Pass has got my full attention for today. Um, this is this is what I really care about in this vlog. To visit, we have to pass inside the museum, which have to frost, and outside, which is the trail to the pass. Okay. Okay, and inside, and how come. far is the pass from here? Uh, 500 meters from okay, here. Okay, not too far. Yes, and you go back the same way when you reach the memorial. Come back same way? Yeah, so in like one kilometer in total. Okay, and I will know it's the pass, there will be something to tell me, or it's easy to see? Yeah, that's very oh, easy to right. see. You just follow the, our route. Okay. Here. We, we have the, the sign all the way. We're going to read all about it, and then we will walk down to it. So we've got all the names here that died in this sound is the sounds of men working on the track. So this is the Hellfire Pass that we're going to walk through. They give you this visitor book and everything guys. It's, you know it's, it's amazing what they're doing here, it really is. Some died with mind stained photos of their loved ones clutched in their body hand. One of the last to die was sleeping restlessly a few paces up from me. In his delirium, he was making a noise similar to a groan. I was too sick to move. For two days, I listened to that groan. 
Then it suddenly came to me. It wasn't a groan at all. He was trying to hum Silent Night. See, I nearly died on my 21st. I think my youth helped me. But there was a lot of fellas younger than I died. And I think it's your attitude. You have no mind that Jack took your mind. You did nothing, you just did what he told you. So the Hellfire Pass guys is they had to cut through a section of rock and the prisoners had to do that with just hand tools and they were heavily worked during that section where many people died and it's called the Hellfire Pass because at night they used to have that section all lit up and it looked like hell with the lights. Every man who worked on the railway in whichever section would have an automatic passport to heaven. They have all, they have all done the requisite stretch in hell. Exit to Hellfire Pass, rail bed and walking trail. Now just press that number and then press green for play and also pause. Okay. And for change the number, just press that one here. So clear to the stop. Number. Yeah, okay. new number and then green again. Okay, so you press stop for the new number. Okay. Okay. And there will be numbers everywhere, and I, I would. Yeah. Right. See the number. Press that number and then green. Okay, okay. Great. This is for volume down. Okay. And up. Okay. And divide and fast forward. Okay. 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 I recommend you to test now, but press number one and eight to check your earbud first. If it's okay. not working, we will change a new one for you. And after you, you can keep it due to COVID situation. We don't want to leave it. Sure. Sure. And so walk is outside, and then to left, walk until to see the memorial, so that it is short walk, and come back the same way. Okay. Walk, yeah. walk back same Take way. left, and come back same way. Yeah. For the short walk. Yeah. One hour. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so you get this audio that tells you, and they tell you to um, check it before you go, and it all works. Yeah, in front there, sir. Sorry? Yeah, in front, sir. In front, sir. In, in, in front, sir. In front. <laughs> you are making uh, YouTube? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, I'm YouTube. YouTuber, yes. YouTuber, okay. Yes, I yes. I thought you were influencer. Ah, influencer. Oh, influencer. No, no, just, just a small YouTuber. <laughs> this is gonna, it's gonna hurt because I've got the audio. That will be telling me as I go around as well. So, I'm probably gonna, I will probably break down. Um, I'm gonna try not to. Okay, so that was a group. I said, can I listen? He said, yeah, if you want Australian. So Australians run, run this place, I do believe, or joint with the ties and there's quite a lot of smoke guys in in Cam Chanaburi at the minute nowhere near the levels is Chiang Mai but well, there is quite a bit about right so we are on the death railway So I'm just listening to the audio guys as well. Um, so the, la the audio saying the prisoners wasn't told they're coming to do this. Work begins from May 1942. More than 60,000 allied prisoners of war were transported to Thailand and Burma. Those sent to Burma sailed from Singapore or were taken by railway to a port in northwestern Malaya and sailed from there. They were held in cramped holds of ships without sanitary facilities or adequate food. Well, the most difficult part is down further, the Hellfire Pass, but 
they had to clear all this guys with hand tools it just it boggles the mind right it boggles the mind can you imagine 1943 here getting treated like like crap on your shoe forced to work no food okay guys this is the hellfire pass this is the Hellfire Pass, also known as Konyu Cutting. The name Hellfire Pass came from the appalling working conditions at, the around, at around this site in mid-1943 when the Japanese introduced the Speedo period to meet tight deadlines for completing the railway. Prisoners were forced to work long hours into the night their work site was lit by oil lamps and bamboo fires. This flickering light, the noise from the drilling of the rock and the shuffling of the hundreds of poorly fed prisoners seemed the very image of hell. These rails and sleepers are from the official railway and, re and were relayed in Konyu Cutting in April 1989 by the men of C Company 3rd Battalion Royal Australian Regiment. They were relocated to the current position in 2006. This my boys. This my boys. This my boys look. These are my boys. So the audio are telling me they had to blow this out of dynamite first and one guy's talking about um, it, it was wet season so the part they did like is it wasn't muddy here because they they're working with rock and 
yeah, the first guys got drafted in to to clear it all. They would put sticks of dynamite here and they would blow it up and they're talking about they would just they would just walk down here and turn their backs why why it blew up and so the third group were called the rock rollers they were drafted in to to clear the area after after the explosion and the dynamite this section was so slow it became a bottleneck and they they forced the prisoners to work around the clock through the night with lanterns all through here people collapsing people dying people exhausted so one of the guys is talking about the prisoners kept in high spirits and they all gave each other nicknames uh, one guy was called Buffhead <laughs> so at the bottom you've got this memorial site Burma Thailand Railway 1942-1945 in remembrance of those who suffered and all who died the Hellfire Pass all those lives all that suffering for for this So they've built, like the entrance is right on it, if that's the only place you want to go. I mean this, this is the, like the most famous section through the rock here. You can carry on walking down another two kilometres. I'm going to walk down a little bit further and just, you know, gather my thoughts, have a look here. The audio is really helpful. Maybe some of you would just rather read from the amount of info boards they got here it's really well done they've done a they've done an awesome job and it's just so nice to be alone at the minute right at the hellfire pass so i'm just gonna probably walk down five or ten minutes look the old, the old sleepers still here look up to three hours for the return journey so take three hours guys you bring lots of water if you're going to do this full walk i mean i'm not going to but uh, you need to be you know pretty active i would have thought and have some good footwear come in the early morning you don't want to be doing this midday I've got here 8, 8.30 a.m. You can walk right along.
I just I had to come here. And Kanchana Brewery. It's a sad town, it's a sad city, but an amazing town. This is hanging over Kanchana Brewery. It's it's a feeling. Like the people, the people that died here, they're here with you. That's what it feels like. You might sound stupid, but you can feel, you can feel something here. The walking trail ahead has been assessed as having a risk of rock sliding that may result in severe injury or death. Enter at your own risk. Pai Nuan Cave. Wow. Yeah, this is what they used to work with. This look. Filling that up, shipping it out. Banging more stone out. Pai Nuan Cave. <sighs> okay, so there's a cave. Not going down there. Right where I'm standing. Someone was probably on his back, dying, exhausted. Working through the night, right here. Cutting this hellfire pass, this pass through, for war. For somebody else's game in war. It's an honour, it's an honour, it's an honour. It's another Vietnam moment where I just never thought, <laughs> never thought I would be just somewhere like this, you know. Like if it's up to me, I'm the sort of person that could sit here all day and just think. That's what I do. That's what I've done in Da Nang. It would just go through my head. 
I would try and picture it. Try and picture where somebody was stood. You know, what what it really was like here. And, you know, with, with the museum here, we're lucky enough to actually see on video parts of this what it was like and I'm going back to have another look in a minute don't want to leave don't want to leave Okay, it's time to leave. It's crazy how the world works, isn't it? You know, it's all well and good walking down, having a joke. I've seen a few people down there just laughing and joking. It's all good, isn't it? It's all, you know, there's nothing to say you shouldn't. I just think, you know, maybe leave the, maybe leave the fun in jokes just till you get back to the car park. That, that, that would be me anyway. I mean, I know life goes on and there's no point dwelling on past on the past things that happened like here but um yeah i wouldn't be going down there like i'm on holiday having a laugh and a joke really that's just me anyway so yeah it goes all the way back that way look i forget how many miles it was now it's a, it's a long track right up to the burma border do you know what? Fair play to Thailand, Australia, the British for doing all this for free. And yes, immaculate. You get you get the free audio, you get the free book. Everything that tells you about it, even if you don't know nothing about this, it's all laid out for you to read. So you're gonna learn something like me. So worth it. So once a year you can um, go in at night, Anzac Day, April the 25th every year. So yeah, that would be good, right? So there it is. Done it. I walked through the Hellfire Pass. And yeah, I don't feel, don't feel too jolly. Look at the bikes here now. Mine was the only one here. And just being here, I feel like I've um, done something with my day, you know? I've done something worthwhile. Showed a bit of respect. Not just the British, not just to the British people that died here, to everybody. And yeah, I'm happy. I'm going to go for another slash. And then going to get on a bike and head back. 
So just come up and look at these old carriages. So I'd say prisoners used to be in here or they used to bring stuff in, let original. Just think what would have happened in here. Makes your mind boggle, doesn't it? Makes your mind boggle, man. See, things like this, just important, isn't it? Important to keep and preserve. Got some old sleepers there as well, like old sleepers. The boys are here painting, keeping it all nice, and it does look really nice here. Right, guys, that is it. I'm gonna make my way back. There's a place that I'm going to stop off on the way back that I'm going to do a separate vlog at. So it's not going to be part of this vlog, but there's another place that I'm going to do two vlogs in the same day. So that's what I'm going to do on the way back. About 45 minutes, just, just outside of Kanchanaburi. So that'll be in a separate vlog. It's been great coming here. I just want to say Thank you, Kanchanaburi, and the people of the, um, the museum here. And I want to say rest in peace to all the people that died here. This is a vlog that will stay with me forever. This will be one that I will never, ever forget and I can always look back on. It's amazing what they've done here. It's free. They look after you. Everything's signposted. It's just great. I've had a great day and it's just a privilege and an honour to be here. Hope you're all safe and sound as always, guys, and I will see you in the next vlog. Take it easy, man. Take it easy.